Okay, welcome back, everybody, to another video. Terraria 1.4.4, once again, taking a look at some new stuff. This one might be a little bit more of a long-winded video because there is a bunch of things to go over in this one. Basically, we're going to be looking at the new Town Slime pets, which I think were highlighted, like, very heavily within the update. Like, that was, like, a big um, thing in the leaks. And I think it was just, like, very, like, front and center. Like, there's, the, like, there's these new times... Uh, time? What? Town Slime pets. And you can get them, right? I mean, like, I knew about these, and I, I knew nothing about them, but just because I think that they were advertised, like, sort of with a lot of the update material, a lot of people just ended up knowing about them. But... They are sort of um, not complicated to get, but there's a lot of like little niche things. I don't know if that's the right word either, but there's a lot, a lot of little things that you have to do in order to get all of these pets. Basically how they work, I do have one. You can see it on my mini map over here. He's down here, Stein, the nerdy slime pet. And you can see they just move in. Oh, I moved this, uh, this one in. I don't know if they automatically move in, but you can move them into houses with NPCs. So you don't need to make like extra houses or anything with them for them. And I think that's how all the town pets work. I think there's like three others, just the standard ones. And now you have all the slimes. But this one, I'm not going to show an example of. I'm going to try to actually show examples of all of the other ones since, well, six of the other ones. There's eight, by the way. But I'll try to show examples of six of the other ones. And then there's one that I can't really force to move in or, you know, actively go and make move in as you can with pretty much all the other ones, I think. Um, but Stein here you all you have to do to get this one is defeat the king slime so you can get it very early on and it literally just a after i killed the king slime it just spawned out of the king slime and that's all you have to do so it's just as simple as that and then you know he just popped out and you could move him into a house so that's all the second slime that you can get is the cool slime which only moves in if there's a natural party active which is why i can't like go and try to make it move in or make something happen to make it move in because you just have to wait for a party to happen so i don't know if i'll actually be able to show you guys the cool slime because i don't know when a party is going to happen if it does happen then i'll show you if it doesn't then you know you just have the information that's how you get it there's a bunch of other ones though and i'm trying to figure out which one is the easiest to obtain currently i guess that this one would be pretty easy i don't know if we actually need if we get a copper short sword and then we go and find a slime. This is the last one on the list, by the way, but it seems like the simplest one to do. So I'm just gonna see if I can make it happen. Let's move a little far away from our village so that enemies will actually start spawning. And we'll just see if we can get a standard slime really quick. I don't know if it needs to be any specific kind of slime. It just says a slime. I think this is what you're supposed to do. I can't I can't manage it though, because I'm a I'm a I'm a bomb. Hello? Okay. I, you can this looks very very stupid and I don't know if there's supposed to be oh Did that work? No, that was me dodging it. Oh, I threw it outside of the house Okay, it's basically I, I might, might have to do something else for this But it just says that you, if you drop a copper short sword or a rip slime drop a copper short sword or a copper helmet on a slime then you can get the squire slime which I'll be showing on screen right now. Is it like, am I, am I stupid? <laughs> it shouldn't be anything other than this, unless there's some mechanic that I'm missing here, which, you know, I very well could be. Oh, there you go. It's just, it couldn't be one of the bunny slimes. <laughs> it's that simple. Um, there we go. There's another squish and sploink. There we go. Let's pet the squire slime. But we have a little slime with a copper helmet, or I think that's supposed to be a copper helmet and a copper short sword, <laughs> which is really, cute and funny uh and that one is probably like the second easiest to get maybe even the easiest since you actually have to defeat a boss to get this one and you don't have to do anything to get the other slime let's just move him up here uh let's move our our, our boy slivel the squire slime um let's move on to the other ones which are all a little more complex i guess we're gonna go for this next one called the clumsy slime and in order to get this one we need to go up into the space layer which is just space, right? Let's just get on our little broom here. I think you only need to wait for it to spawn is what it sounds like. I just need to find a floating island and then I need to wait for this to spawn. It just says that it spawns near floating islands in the space layer and that it's detectable with a life form analyzer. So, I mean, we have a floating island right here. So I guess we'll just wait. 
for a little bit. Oh, there we go. Where is it? There it is. <laughs> that was that was really quick. Wow. Okay. Um. What's that, dude? Oh, Blood Moon. Joyous. Okay. Well, we have our little champ. Whoa. Stay away from him. Who apparently doesn't want to talk to me. But we'll move or go back to our little. Oh my God. There's so many harpies. Did you guys see that? What the. F all right, we'll just move Shemp in here. And I guess we're just going to brave the... Oh my god, there's so many enemies. Okay, um, I just got a KO cannon from the clown. <laughs> okay. Actually, you know, getting a... Wow, bro. Jesus, stop killing my NPCs. You guys are menaces. There is something actually to be shown here in the Blood Moon. And that is another town slime. Because you can actually get the next slime called the Surly Slime by fishing during a blood moon. You fish it up during a blood moon. All I can say is that if I end up fishing, I don't think you can fish the blood or dread nautilus out of a little oasis. But if I end up fishing a dread nautilus out of this oasis, I'm gonna be a little upset because that's kind of stupid. Dude, did they raise the spawn rate of the blood moon? Because, oh my God, is it? does it feel high as hell? We're just gonna see, oh, okay, simple enough. <laughs> That's it. Uh, let us let me see if I can actually use my, my like, sundial since I don't really want to deal with a blood moon the whole night long. That's the surly slime, though. I'll move him into a house back over there once I actually see if I can advance the time really quick. So the blood moon should disappear. As much as I would like to kill some clowns to get some drops, I don't... Okay. No! Smeagol! <laughs> Not the surly slime, bro. It died. All right. Well, now I guess I have a lunar e or a solar eclipse to deal with. So I guess I'll just do this and then I'll bring you guys back once I'm actually done. Because, uh, yeah, there's not much I can do except for fight here. The next four? We have four more? No, that was five that we went through because uh, we showed four and then we were not able to get the cool slime quite yet. The next one that we can get is... I guess we'll go for the Elder Slime. We need a golden key for this one, which it's something I've actually seen before. I did not actually know what it was, and I didn't know that I needed a gold key for it. I it just, it surprised the hell out of me. I almost made a video out of it, like a small video, but uh, I did not end up doing that. And I'll show you what I mean in a second. We need a gold key for it though. And then we're also going to grab some purification powder. We'll just grab like five. We're gonna go chill in the jungle though, cause there's a couple of slimes that we can get here. Uh, the one that we need a golden key for can spawn here because we're in the cavern layer, which is where you need to find it. And then the other way that we get a slime here is by finding a certain mystic frog, which we can find in the jungle. Oh, well, actually, no, never mind. I take it back. We need to actually go to the jungle surface for this one. I'm wrong. It's unsurprising, but I am wrong. So we're going to have to move upwards. We'll just do that then. We'll do the jungle one first, get the, or find this mystic frog, which can only show up on the jungle surface. So we're gonna have to go and walk around uh, uh, for a little bit up at the top of the jungle. So give me a moment and I'll bring you guys back if we can uh, find this thing. Slime fours, the clumsy slime. <laughs> That's a pun on one of the developers names. Not uh, line fours, but it's slime fours, so that's kind of funny. Our little uh, pink space slime came back, so that's nifty. Still over here looking for this mystic frog. I'm hoping it's not going to take, like, actual days to find it, but it may. Frogs shouldn't be that rare because they spawn at any time just along the surface, so we're just going to keep on going until, uh, you know, I actually find one. I don't know why this wooden chest is just chilling here. I should probably move that or grab the contents at some point. Oh. Where is it? There it is. It's glowing. Look at this. Hold on. Look at it. It's a little frog with a hat. I don't want to, like, just leave it here for too long because something's going to kill it. So we're just going to uh, turn it into our little slimy boy, Sunny, and leave immediately so that nothing kills him. Uh, let's put him in our one of the jungle houses. Excuse me. Uh, let's put Sunny the Mystic Slime in here with the princess, though. Let's see if we can move off screen a little bit and yep there you go moved in immediately look at him or her i don't know I don't, are they supposed to have genders they're just slimes whatever bro um and then we have two more we have the elder slime and the diva slime now the elder slime is the one that i need the golden key for 
and I'm not quite sure where I want to go in order to get it. Well, like I was just saying, I don't know if I finished my thought. I'm just gonna go find a caverns area to look for this thing, and uh, we'll just go sit there and wait. I shall bring you guys back once I have found it. Oh. Oh, there it is. Uh, where is it, though? Right here, you can see. The old shaking chest is what I'm looking for. Is it down here? No, it's not down here. Um, where is it? Come on. Oh, there we go. Okay, hold on. <laughs> it's a little moving chest. Um, so I can't do anything to it, but enemies can actually kill this. I don't know why this is what we need to do to get this pet slime, but it is. Uh, if we... Oh, no, come on. No, come here. Okay, are you are we serious right now? I know that it's just a golden key that I need. Is it because the tracks are getting in my way? Is that what's going on? Damn, it does not want me to interact with this. There we go. You just right click on it with the golden key. And now we have Sebastian. Grumble, grumble. <laughs> uh, look, look at this guy. What's it called again? Is it called the Elder Slime or something? Elder Slime, yeah. Okay, so... I mean, look at that. It has a mustache. That's funny. Let's move away from it so that mobs don't kill it like usual since it can die relatively quick. And I guess we'll have him move in here potentially with the uh, the, uh, the dryad. We're going to have to wait, though, until nighttime to actually get him to move, I think, because uh, where, where did we find him? We found him like up here, but uh, he is not there. So, you know, he, he'll move in when he has the chance unless he... Well, no, he couldn't have moved in somewhere else. It's like, it's a daytime. For this one, this one's going to be a little weird. So I'm going to need to go to another world. Let me just quick stack my items that I have here just so that uh, I can get them out of my inventory. And then I need to grab something from the Don't Starve world as well. And I shall just bring you guys back when I have completed my preparations. And I'll show you how to get this last slime really quickly. Here we go. So first of all, we need Sparkle Slime Balloons. Now I'll move to the other new world that I made. This is the Don't Starve world, uh, which is not applicable for what I need. Uh, so we're on a new world here, and what we're looking for is the new Aether biome. I'm not going to be able to get this slime on my home world currently, because in order to do it, you need to beat Moonlord on a world that is not um, <laughs> uh, generated in 1.4.4. Uh, because the biome that we're searching for with what we're looking for does not actually exist in or it spawns on generation what right so you can't get it on a world that was generated before the update came out okay so it should be right down here and i did make a video on this um this little biome that i'm going to search for that was added in the new update i didn't actually go over anything in depth but i did go over like how you find this uh etc because i i you know i went and found it so i was like well i'll make a video you know showing what it is if people haven't seen it yet and how to get it or find it i guess so we have an awesome little biome here i did again i went over this in a little short video little short cannot believe i just said that a short video and this is the aether biome which is basically home to a couple of new enemies like two i think and then this uh, this liquid here. All you have to do is get this sparkle slime balloon, I believe this should be it, right? Yeah. And then you're just supposed to throw it into the liquid. There we go. So you have to throw it into some deeper liquid, apparently. Here we have Xion, the diva slime, though. Uh, let's see if she'll jump out here. No, come here. Come on. There we go. So it's a little, it, look, like I think it changes color. Yeah, it changes color. Sprinkle Tinkle, most definitely. Let's see, can I pet it? Why wouldn't it let me, let me pet the slime? Come on, pet it. Is it because it's not standing on a flat surface? That is actually why it won't let you pet the slime there. Okay, here we have the Diva Slime though. That's the last one. Uh, I cannot get this on my other world because it's a pre 1.4.4 world and I cannot get the Shimmer Liquid until after I beat Moon Lord. In which case, I think there's two ways. You need a bucket. There's a bottomless shimmer bucket, or it's called something like that. And you can get it by either by submerging a bottomless water bucket into the shimmer, or by, um, I think you can just craft it with luminite bars and a bottomless water bucket. But you have to beat Moon Lord first. And I haven't actually beaten Moon Lord on any of the worlds that I have. But that's how you get the last slime, and that's going to be all eight of them. Um, 
So that's how you get all of the town slimes. I think this is really cool, you know? It's just like little side quests just to get, you know, some little, some pets for your town. I don't know, I, I really enjoy it. And I like the incorporation of all the different things that you have to do. Like there's some just completely like interesting new mechanics that you have to use just to get these slimes, like unlocking a random chest in the cavern layer with a key or putting purification powder on a frog. I think it's awesome. I think the pets are just really cute and I just really like the idea. It just helps you to live in up your world a little more, right? But uh, I think that's gonna be it. I think I got everything out there. Hopefully the video isn't too long, but knowing me, it's gonna be like a half an hour. Probably not, I'll, I'll cut it down into something like, you know, for 15 or 20 minutes, I would imagine, since there's not that much. Just me kind of running around my world and uh, doing a couple of things. But that's going to be all for the video today. Hopefully you enjoyed and I shall see you in the next one.